It's hard to believe it's been 19 years and 364 days since September 11th happened. But even with the passage of time, many of us can remember where we were and what we were doing when we got the news of the events in New York City and Washington, D.C. and a rural field in Pennsylvania. For some reason, though, the the one-year anniversary and the five and ten and Uh, 15 year anniversaries, they really seem to come kind of quickly. But this 20th anniversary makes it seem like so long ago that those things happened. Perhaps it's because even though I can remember the tragedy, the, the other memories that sprang up in the immediate aftermath of the events have, have really long faded. People often talk about how this country changed forever 20 years ago. And I understand the the sentiment, but but I have to ask, how has this country changed in a positive way in the last 20 years? To be sure, there was an initial change that brought about unity, community, and a, a love for this country and its freedoms. But from an historical perspective, those seem really short lived. The love of neighbor and willingness to support others, even those who are different from us, have long died out. We now live in a world where fear and conflict, tension, discrimination and and condemnation and hate, especially of those not like us, seem to be the prevailing emotions and attitudes. Now, to be sure, there are those moments when we come together. But as we've seen just in the last 18 months, that unity quickly gives way to conflict. Superficially, as it relates back to 9-11, things have changed. For example, we have longer lines at airports and it takes us longer to get into large gatherings of people like concerts and sporting events. But we're still very individualistic. And we still look out for number one more than anyone else. That's if we're being honest with ourselves. And are any of those things positive? More importantly, though, are any of those things following Jesus' example? How do those attitudes and actions compare to Jesus' teachings from Luke 6.27 that says, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Or Paul's teachings in Romans 12, 9, which says, Honor one another above yourselves. September 11th is a day that we should never forget, whether it's 20 years or 100 years from now. But my hope is that it's a day that inspires us to a greater love of God and neighbor following Christ's example of humility and sacrifice and love. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy, but as I always say, if there's anything that we can do for you here at the church, please don't hesitate to let us know. I look forward to worshiping with you all either on site or online beginning at 8:30 on Sunday morning. Have a great rest of the day and God bless.